Hi, Tom here. Life is complicated. You know, in a way, it's unpredictable. You never know what tomorrow is going to bring you, right? It is a little bit like with every day that passing by, with every new day that comes when you wake up in the morning, it's a little bit like the lottery. You don't know what's going to happen that day. Are things going to be better for me? Or are things going to be more difficult for me? But one thing about life is that the anticipation of the unknown is what makes life exciting in a way. You know? But the most important thing about that is that no matter how down you are, no matter how bad life has beaten you today, tomorrow is another day. And your life could be better. In fact, it will get better. And you know, that's how, that's how you should approach life. And, and the reason I'm saying that today is because, you know, I'm in hospital right now and I just saw a patient who was severely depressed. You know, maybe you feel depressed because life is throwing you lemons. You lost your job. Now you're jobless. You're not making any income. You're in a financial disaster. Your partner broke up with you. You didn't get that dream job you thought you were going to get. I mean, there's so many different scenarios that life is throwing at us, you know? But instead of fighting those negative scenarios, embrace them. Deal with them and change your path. You know, you, your life should be like water, you know? Do not assume any shape or form, you know, but flow like water. You put water in a squared box, it assumes the shape of the box. You put water in a pipe, it goes through the pipe, assuming the shape of the pipe. In a river, it has the shape of the river. In a lake, the shape of the lake. In a swimming pool, the shape of the swimming pool. You know, it adapts so easily. And so your life should be the same. Maybe your dream was to become a doctor. You worked very hard for it. You did your entrance exams. And unfortunately, you were not selected. So what? They have rejected you. I mean, there's no, there's no reason to be depressed. Think of it this way. Yes, they have rejected you. But maybe it's their loss, right? It's the university's loss. They've deprived themselves of another great brain. And so you follow another path. And five years down the line, 10 years down the line, you realize that this new path you've taken, you know, has blessed you with happiness, peace of mind, fortune, wealth, fame, you know, love, and, and, and all the good things that life can give you. And now you look back and, and, and you look at your friends that maybe went in medical school and they're not so happy, they're exhausted, they're tired, you know, they might even be bitter. And you realize that, you know, it was a blessing in disguise that you did not go to medical school. Maybe your partner broke up with you and, and right now you feel heartbroken, you know, dead inside. You're depressed. You might even want to hurt yourself. But no, I know it's very difficult to Comprehend right now, if you're heartbroken, that there could be somebody else for you. But there is 7.2 billion or 7.4 billion human beings on this planet. 
believe me, there is a lot of people better suited to be with you. If you're a man, there's a lot of women who will love you, cherish you, treat you well. If you're a woman, there is a lot of men out there who will love you and treat you well and cherish you and adore you. Just go out there and they're all over the show, right? So yes, you might have been rejected. Somebody might have broken up with you, but it's not the end. It's the beginning. Forget about that person and you will see, you know, you will meet someone new and again, five years down the line, ten years down the line, you realize that, oh my God, it is such a blessing that this person rejected me. Because if it, were, if, if it weren't for that person rejecting me, I would never have found the true love of my life. Again, it was a blessing in disguise. You get fired from your job. Now you have no income. It's crushing, crushing to be in a situation where you can't pay your bills. You, know, you might have to uh, move out of your house, change neighborhood. You know, it's, it's very, very, very difficult. This is such a blow, you know, and, and, and you might feel broken right now. But believe me, it will make you stronger because you will be forced to make some changes in your life. And new horizons will open. And with new horizons, you know, a new field of vision, you will encounter new people that you otherwise would never have met if you were in the sweet comfort of your little life at the office where you used to work. And that, that new situation, that new difficult situation, but filled with wonderful people, will help you grow. And five years down the line, 10 years down the line, looking back, you might be thinking, you know what? It was a true blessing in disguise that I got fired from this job. Because I was able to go back to the drawing board and excel in what I truly wanted to do. And now I've attained success, happiness, wealth that I might never have attained otherwise, you know? So that's my, that's, my, that's, my, that's my message today, you know. Don't, 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 don't be depressed because of your situation, you know. You know, when life was tough for me, you know, especially in medical school, you know, I would project myself as if being on the moon, looking at planet Earth, and observe planet Earth from the moon. And then I would think, this beautiful little planet of ours, with its billions of people moving around it and living their lives, these people who are making my life so difficult right now, they are actually quite insignificant in the bigger scheme of things. They are not superior to me. We are all the same particles of matter on Earth. And so all I have to do is elevate my thinking to a higher plane than them and I will survive. Not only I will survive, but I will dominate them and get out of this hole they're trying to put me into. What I am telling you is that don't despair. Don't despair. 
Don't fall into despair. Your life may be difficult right now. But you know, these difficulties you have right now, these hard times, they will not stay for the rest of your life. They will come to pass. You might be broke. You might feel destitute. Heartbroken. You might have been done wrong. But don't worry. Nobody can control your mind. It's your mind. The one thing you have, they might have taken everything from you. You know? Your money, your house, your job. Your love. But your mind is your mind. Nobody can get into your head. Nobody can get into your head. Nobody can control your mind. Nobody can control your mind. Nobody can tell your mind to be sad, to be negative. Yes, you might be down today, but you are in control of your mind. And so choose to be positive. Choose to be cheerful. Yes, it's very difficult, but what else can you do? Right? Life is life. And you might as well smile about it and embrace your new situation and try to get out of there. What else can you do? Right? <laughs> Nobody can take that away from you. You are controlling your destiny. Right? And I can guarantee you, when the people who have put you down, that person who has hurt your feelings, that person, that boss who has fired you from this job, although you are doing an excellent job, you know, when all these people are looking at you and they still see you being positive, they still see you smiling, you know, they will wonder, but this man, this woman, what drives him? What drives her? How can he still be so positive in his current situation? Stand up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stand up. Be in control of your mind. I mean, what else can you do? We have to go on, right? Don't worry, man. You're not going to be down for the rest of your life. It's a temporary situation. Peace. Cheers.